So in this video, we're going to be learning about decorators. So decorators are a part of Python that you might not have used before, but they can be really, really useful for extending the functionality of some of your functions. So I've got a function here that's called my func, and if I run it, it's going to print hello world. So as you can see, it says hello world. So what if I wanted to extend this function? Well, if I wanted the function to print something else, I could go into the function like this and I could manually change it. And now if I run it, you can see it prints something else. But to change that, I had to go in and modify the function. So let's say I change this example, and now I have a function that divides some number by another number. So if I run that, everything works fine. But if I was to change this 5 to a 0, we all know we can't divide by 0. So if I run that now, you can see we get an error. So one way to fix this would be to add functionality to our function by going into the function itself and adding a check to make sure we're not dividing by zero. But another thing that we can do is we can use decorators. So decorators let us extend the functionality of one of our functions without actually modifying the function itself. So here's how we create a decorator. So we're gonna create a function and it's gonna be called check and it's gonna take a function as a parameter. So I'm gonna call that func. So it's gonna take our divide function as a parameter. So in Python, we can create nested functions. So that means we can define a function inside a function. So I'm gonna create a function called inside, and it's gonna take two parameters, which is a and b, and those are the two parameters that we're gonna to pass to our divide function. And in here is where we're going to check that we're not dividing by zero. So to do that, we're just gonna say if b equals zero, we're gonna print an error message, and we're gonna return out of that function. So if we were to run this now, nothing's gonna happen because all we've done is define a function which isn't gonna execute it and all we've done inside that function is define another one. So what we need to do inside of our nested function is after we do our check, we're just going to run func and we're gonna pass the A parameter and the B parameter. So this is gonna call whatever function we pass into our check method. And we've defined this inside function but we haven't tried to execute it. So to execute the inside function, we're just going to return inside. So now when I call the check function, it's going to define this function inside of it. Then it's going to execute the function I passed to it. Whenever we finish the check function, it's going to return, which means it's going to execute the inside function. And then that will in turn execute whatever function I passed to check. So if that doesn't make any sense, hopefully an example will. So to actually add this functionality to our divide function, what we do is we create a variable with the same name as our divide function and we set it equal to the check function that we created up here. And what we do is then we pass the divide function inside that check function. And what that will do is it will add this additional functionality to our divide function. So now if we just run the exact same divide underneath that we did previously, you can see now it says can't divide by zero. But if I take this line out, you can see we get an error. So this is a really common pattern in Python. So what Python has done is it's added a special syntax. So instead of this really repetitive pattern underneath your function, what you can do is you can just type in an at sign above it and the name of your decorator, which in this case is called check. So that's that function up there. So now if I delete that, because we have our decorator above the function, if I was to run this again, you can see it says can't divide by zero. So that's how you use decorators to add additional functionality without modifying the function itself. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Let me know if you like these sort of videos and I'll make some more. Don't forget to go to highcode.org for more. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.